Alrighty then, my roller chums. It is I, Daniel. You may call it the pop culture dude, and I know I am late for posting this news, but this news is worth to discuss about on this channel. So, in case you haven't noticed, Space Jam: A New Legacy is one of my most anticipated movies of 2021. But now, thanks to these exclusive photos from Entertainment Weekly, we have finally got a first look. Well, besides the video footage of Space Jam: A New Legacy with a bunch of these brand new photos, including this magazine on the cover. And I'm like, yes, the Looney Tunes are back. You see Bugs, Daffy, Lola, Taz, Tweety next to LeBron James. Hope he doesn't offer them a Sprite Cranberry if they have to. But hey, it's so great that they look so good. They're a hand-drawn 2D animation. And there's even one with one wallpaper that features Porky Pig along with Lola, Bugs, and my boy, Daffy Duck. Let's all laugh at the duck. It's going to give me good memories of that. But also, we get to see their first looks in their 3D CGI looks. And we get to see a little bit more details of the cast members from both the tunes themselves, our live-action human characters, and even... This may be the biggest crossover ever. Move aside Avengers Infinity War and go to the corner over there, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Space Jam A New Legacy is going to be the new Ready Player One 2.0 by Warner Bros. themselves. But <clears throat> anyway, let's get started with the photos with a description from the Entertainment Weekly article. Squad goals! After initially passing 15 years ago, LeBron James is finally ready to take the Space Jam mantle from Michael Jordan in Space Jam A New Legacy, out July 16 in theaters and on HBO Max, which graces the new cover of EW. It's something Mike created and it is, James says of the beloved franchise. I held that with a lot of responsibility, as does EW in premiering this highly anticipated first look. And speaking of LeBron James, I can see that he's paying a homage to Michael Jordan where he has this stretchy plastic man, Mr. Fantastic Art to stretch, but except LeBron James is feeling the thunder in the ball, like he's like Thor in Avengers Affinity War. Putting the jam in Space Jam, I had that wow moment like, mama, I'm doing this. I'm really shooting Space Jam. James recall of putting the Toon Squad jersey on for the first time since Space Jam has been a big part of LeBron's childhood, so it's mind-blowing for him. But anyway, let's continue. Move over, Anthony Davis and the rest of the Lakers, because James' new running mate taught Tweety and the Toon Squad. We are we're reminded very quickly why the Looney Tunes work, says new Legacy producer Ryan Coogler, aka the director of Creed and Black Panther. When we watch parts of the film featuring the tunes, you have missed a smile come over your face because if you're from our generation, you miss them. Yeah, exactly. I do miss seeing the Looney Tunes on the big screen since back in action, so it's nice that Ryan Coogler just thought about it and be like, hey, the tunes are back and a full-length feature sequel to Space Jam. A hair-raising hoop dream. It was very important to me to the traditional about the Looney Tunes betrayals, new legacy director Malcolm D. Lee says of Bugs Bunny Company. And look at Bugs Bunny. I love the 3D style. I like the yeah, type of mood that he's looking. And look at the background. You see Warner Brothers IP. And is that the 1966 penguin from the Adam West Batman? Oh, man, I'm just so excited for this. But I really dig Bugs Bunny 3D style. They really do it well. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? Besides Bugs Bunny getting a new 3D look, Tweety's also getting one. That's the only pick where he's next to LeBron, which he looks pretty good. It's just that he has a little bit more of a pudgy 3D mole, but definitely fits in this world. But there's a one certain Looney Tunes character that was trending on Twitter just because of her mm -hmm, new looks. Everyone, or in case every young boy has a little small furry fetish where they see Lola Bunny's first 1996 look. Mm-hmm, sexy. But now we get to this 2021 look where we see like, okay, she's a little bit less sexualized for the kids to make it PG for 2021, but still like more cartoonish and loony. Heck, you even see her getting like almost like a handshake or a high five to LeBron James and there she is in her three months she does look pretty good but I know so many fans are like we want to see bunny boobies we want bunny boobies I'm like all right I'll hold your hormones down but hey hey is that the guy for Five Nights at Freddy's if that will be so then that'll definitely make sense but wait Warner Brothers don't own the rights anymore Ooh, so that's a bummer but yeah Lola looks pretty good and a little bit more cleaner for kids now today the new Lola. Upon watching Space Jam for the first time in 2019, Lee was caught off guard by the original's very sexualized depiction of Lola Bunny. This is 2021. It's important to reflect the authenticity of strong, capable female characters, the Gold Earl Strip filmmaker says, of why they rework Lola, aka the teen's best non-LeBron player. Wait, not Bugs Bunny? That's not fair. But yeah, I understand they decide to desexualize Lola so they can maybe update and improve her as a character instead of just more like a sex symbol to young little boys when they put out their boners out. 
LeBron's toughest opponent yet. Janes and Son Don, played by Credit Joe, are pulled into the Water 3000 Entertainment server verse by Don Cheeto's Rogue AI as an algae rhythm. The MCU veteran doesn't consider algae a bad guy what bad guy does but rather an ai with a chip on his shoulder mm, makes sense why they're in a vertex reality from war machine to artificial intelligence half the fun is going to the mind of ai what do they think about themselves what do they want everyone else to see says cheeto picture with joe of algae rhythm who puts together the formable goon squad okay so we know the mon stars are not coming back for the first movie but the goon squad that lebron james and the looney tunes will have to compete if it's gonna be i don't know characters like joker and pennywise and if the mask appears i'll be smoking excited once again because i'll be like yeah Yes, the mask is not forgotten, and it'll be one way to make a true proper sequel to the mask. Please do it, Warner Brothers. Please do it. <laughs> Sorry, got excited. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. On the family, LeBron and Dom aren't the only members of the Janes family. I will step back at Marvel that I was part of something like this, said Sukina Martin Green, who plays a strong willed Janes Martage Kamaya picture on on screen kids with Harper, Leigh Alexander, and C.R. Wright. So basically, we're going to see more of LeBron James' family being a part of a major plot in the story because it's kind of similar in the first movie where there's these actors play as Michael Jordan's like wife and kids, but now in the sequel, they definitely have a major part, especially particularly with the son being a big major part of the plot of the movie. We have now taken over your franchise. Long before producing New Legacy, Kugler was just a middle schooler performing Space Jam's memorable track, Hit Him High, a talent show was felt like a real cultural moment, he says that the first film was released in 1996. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know he like play a part of one of the biggest hits of the song because LeBron James said one of the biggest elements that will make him convinced to be a part of the Space Jam sequel is the soundtrack. Because not going to lie, back in the original movie, you have the iconic hits like, I believe I can fly, I'm going to fly like an eel. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. So you get the point. So it's really cool that we have a similar like connection origin that when it comes to the soundtrack elements of Space Jam. Coaching LeBron. Although James opted against an active coach in 2015's Trainwreck, which was a comedy movie, Lee pictured with James and Cheadle schooled him on New Legacy. Just like in the NBA, I like to be coached by my coaches, James explained. I was in the same way on set. Because, you know, most of the majority of the time where you see sports stars becoming actors like The Rock or John Cena or Michael Jordan or Shaquille O'Neal. So, yeah, it's kind of like a similar phase. But now they're in Hollywood besides being in a basketball field or any sport that they're in. Last but not least, the last fact in this article, crafting a new legacy. It was always about respecting Space Jam, but also how we make a film that's interesting matters to the culture, and it's about something, says James' producer, partner, and longtime friend, Maverick Carter, seen here during the production with Cheadle. So no wonder the sequel's called A New Legacy, just because you want respect for what made the original movie special, but present it to a brand new legacy and a new take from what will make a great Come back to not just the NBA, but also to the Looney Tunes, but Warner Brothers IP into this one exact movie. And I could go on and on and on about talking about this movie, but just to be clear, these photos and these information got me for excited for the movie a whole lot more. And you just got to wait till July 16 for when it comes to theaters and HBO Max. And are we going to see a trailer? Not exactly. I mean, I'm expecting probably after release of, I don't know, Zack Snyder, Justice League Cut or Godzilla vs. King Kong. That's like... Coming later this March at HBO Max, so you never know. But anyway, in the words of Porky Pig, that's all, folks.